In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Halo UNSC mod for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, which adds massive ships for both the Covenant as well as the UNSC, and all new ground force units as well. It is an absolutely incredible mod. First, we will be starting off with pretty much all of the vehicles in the mod and a little bit of cannon fodder for those vehicles to shoot. And then we're going to be moving on to checking out all of the different ground units in this brand new Halo mod. If you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below. Now let's get into this thing. All right, starting us off here, we do have a multitude of UNSC ships in the sky. We have two flagships, uh, as well as one little Corvette ship down here. Uh, they've also got a number of tanks, some saber tanks, some artillery tanks, etc. Some pretty decent units, I would say. And then for their infantry, they are just using standard UNSC army troopers uh, for the start here. Now... The Covenant, on the other hand, has way less vehicles. They do have three larger scale ships that they're going to be able to field in this battle, as you can see here. However, uh, they don't really have any tank capabilities. They just have infantry, and they're fielding uh, Brutes. So it's 1 million UNSC Army Troopers versus 1 million Brutes. Obviously, the Brutes will be a little bit more powerful if the balancing is right in this mod than the UNSC Army Troopers, but I don't know if that'll completely make up for the Covenant's lack of tanks. We'll just have to see. However, in the next battle we'll be doing where it's going to be primarily infantry-based, it's going to be a very different story because the Covenant does have more infantry troopers, it seems, than the UNSC does. So that might be the battle where they have a bigger advantage. As you can see right now, the big ships, I can't really tell if they're doing all that much, to be completely honest with you. They might still be sort of floating on over to the front lines here in order to fire, but the ground units are definitely tearing themselves apart right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if the tanks will even survive for that long on this battlefield. They are taking some shots um, and firing, but a lot of them are dead. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure those tanks are going to be that effective. But there is a big explosion right there into Covenant Lines. B-E-A, beautiful baby! Yeah, I think those very big explosions are actually the ship's firing in this mod, not uh, the tanks or anything along those lines. It looked to me like pretty much all of the tanks were dead. Oh, there's a big shot right there, exploding some infantry around. That must have been from one of the Covenant vehicles right there. Beautiful. Uh, we do have some of these guys. I honestly haven't played Halo in a very long time, so I forget most of the vehicle names. I know it's pathetic, uh, but... <laughs> We do have some more uh, light air vehicles there for the UNSC Marines to utilize. Why don't we go ahead and time-lapse this and uh, watch the destruction unfold for this first battle, and then we'll get into some more infantry wars here. I I'm pretty excited about this. What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Okay, so it seems like both sides are shooting each other up massively still. But we have 584,000 of one unit and only 33,000 of the other. Uh, I, th I think it's the Brutes are absolutely demolishing the UNSC army. And even with their tanks and their vehicles, uh, UNSC is not doing too hot against these guys. They've still got all their vehicles. Looks like the Covenant only has one. Oh no, they have another back here unless it's... That might be dead. Is it dead? 
It might be dead. I'm not entirely sure. But why don't we go ahead and let her rip for a while here and uh, see what happens. So at this point, I think it's just Covenant Brutes versus UNSC ships? Well, although... Oh no, those are Covenant ships. Those are the UNSC ships. Yeah, they're still alive, so... I think that's all that's happening right now, is the ships just exchanging massive amounts of fire with each other, and the infantry assisting the Covenant ships. Uh, now there's eight UNSC troopers left alive. This is so, so strange. Let's let it run, I guess. Well, we might have a problem where the ships aren't killable, because it's been 32 minutes and uh, they're all still alive. So... Yeah, let's move on to the infantry battle. Alright boys, we got Master Chief right here with the battle rifle, and behind him is the UNSC army. Back this way, at the back left, we have the ODST troopers. A classic game, Halo 3 ODST. To the right of them, we have the UNSC. I think these ones are the Marine variants. And then to the right of them should be the Army variants. And then uh, to the far right of them is, uh, I think, like the Spec Ops variants. I'm not entirely sure, but there's slight differences to each of the UNSC troopers back there. Uh, then in the way back here, we have the Red Spartan Soldiers and the Blue Spartan Soldiers right here. And what's funny is when they walk, they actually teabag. So get ready for that. Over this way, we have the Covenant Soldiers. And again, there's a lot more Covenant Soldiers than UNSC Soldiers in this mod. Uh, so we have just all different variety of their troopers. We've got Elites. We've got uh, Majors. We've got Grunts. We've got uh, Brutes. Just the whole thing, man. It's, it's a lot of different covenant troops out here uh which is pretty exciting i think it'll be pretty baller to see all of these guys in action uh so they do have the advantage over the unsc in this uh because they have 900,000 troopers unsc only has i think 400,000 troopers so yeah pretty big difference right there uh but again in these battles uh we are going to have just differences in the number of troops because it is a mod showcase but after this battle we're gonna do some extreme battle because we got to do something crazy i'm thinking maybe like 1 million halo spartans versus like 10 million uh covenant grunts or something along those lines could be kind of cool uh but at the same time uh, i'm wondering if the unsc here will be better because they do have a hero unit behind them uh in master chief who is teabagging his way forward right here which is kind of funny to see so maybe he will be able to do like some serious damage against the enemy uh, we'll just see. Oh my goodness, these guys have crazy range. Holy cow. Okay, that might be a major problem. There we go, a little bit of fire from the UNSC troopers, but it seems like they are outranged, which tends to be a very, very bad thing on these battlefields if you are outranged by anyone. That is no bueno. That is going to be very costly. And we do have the UNSC, uh, you know, Army Troopers, Spec Ops Troopers, and ODSTs in the very, very front lines. So it'll be interesting to see how they do long term with the Spartans in the way back. Oh my god, these have 10,000 health. These guys only have 1,500. I think it's uh, safe to say the UNSC is outgun and outmatched here. It is just a completely unfair fight for them. Uh, but we'll see how they do nonetheless, just for fun here. 
and then we'll do a bit more of a strategic battle but i really just don't know the balancing of any of these units at all because it's a brand new mod and i have not used it before besides uh the all fantasy army videos where we just used one odst unit i haven't used any of these other units so yeah it's gonna be a very different experience going on here uh here come the blue spartans they have 1000 health so they're actually not even as good as the ODST units. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue. Yeah, it's it's so Jover. It is so Jover, man. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and time lapse this, cause uh, it's so clear the UNSC is losing. All right, so this was pretty much the systematic elimination of all of the UNSC units. Eh, it's not good. They got to destroyed. Apparently, there's a couple units I think glitching. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're just hopping around like little silly guys. <laughs> That's funny. All right, and there's a few guys over here too, but only 23 of them compared to 370,000 Covenant soldiers. So I'm not even gonna pretend this was a balanced battle. This was obviously not, uh, but it is cool to see all the units on the battlefield. Now, uh, I don't actually see that many grunts on the battlefield currently. So did a lot of them die? Oh no, there's some over here. Let's see, how much health do these guys have? 1100, so they're actually pretty good, but those might be the more elite grunts. So we'll try some of the weakest grunts against Spartans and see what happens. All right, boys, we've got six million Covenant grunts here in blue, and uh, they are actually pistol wielding today against one million red Spartans. Defending a small fort, however, uh, obviously the red Spartans don't all fit in the <laughs> in the fort there, so you have a little bit of trouble with that. And right off the rip, uh, it seems as though the pistols are not being super de duperty effective here. <laughs> seems like the red Spartans are kind of absolutely destroying the blue grunts here. Holy cow! And the pistols also don't have very good range. So... Uh, that's gonna be awful for the Covenant Troopers. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Covenant has only 2,700 kills so far, and the Spartans have 315,000. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a fat L for the Covenant, and we might have to decrease the number of Red Spartans uh, after this, but again, this is just a test video to try out the new Battle Simulator mod. Either way, let's go ahead and time lapse the overhead because this is an obvious Spartan victory. Yeah, the Red Spartans won by a ton. Look at this. <laughs> this is a very interesting uh, battle. <laughs> Not really. Okay, let's change it up. All right, this might be a little bit more even. 20,000 Red Spartans versus the same 6 million Covenant Grunts charging on forward here. We'll see how this goes. This time it really will be kind of more of a defense of this area. And I'm curious with the lessened firepower how these guys will do. They probably do still outrange the... Well, they definitely still outrange the Covenant Grunts because they did last battle too. So I'm guessing that will still be a major factor in here is the actual range of each unit but with less of them on the battlefield they won't be able to draw as much firepower as before when they had one million spartans so there we go they're already firing covenant not firing just yet but uh again the fire is a lot uh, less in numbers this time so it is definitely impacting the battlefield hmm this might be rough on the red spartans actually 
Yeah, they're not getting nearly as many Covenant kills as I kind of thought they would get. They're definitely getting a few at the very least, but it's not super good. Okay, now they're getting more. Now they're really ramping it up here. 2,000 kills for them, 100 deaths for them, though. So they are losing a lot more troopers a lot faster this time. This is going to be the weakest part of the battle, though, because once the interior starts to get activated, it might change things. You know, we, we might see a little bit better of a holdout from these guys. Uh, but we'll just have to see. Hmm, yeah, now 7,000 kills for the Red Spartans, 500 deaths. So 500 deaths is what, like... 140th of their total force? I think, right? If my math is mathing. <laughs> so, I mean, that is a lot of death for them already. I like how they're randomly jumping. Randomly jumping and jumping and jumping. Anyone else ever watch Red vs. Blue when they were a kid? I used to, like, be obsessed with it, man. I always thought Caboose was, like, the funniest thing on Earth. <laughs> Alright, let's time-lapse the overhead of this for a little bit and just check it out. Okay, just a little bit later, and there's only 10,000 remaining Red Spartans, so not the very nice. Uh, however, now they're in sort of the interior defense. Hopefully they can create some choke points here. The problem is choke points like this tend to work a lot better when it's a melee unit. When it's a ranged unit, it's going to be a lot more troublesome. I think it could be rough. Uh, but the Red Spartans do have 66,000 kills, which is pretty good, though nowhere near the amount they really need to win this battle outright. But, uh, you know, hopefully they continue to get some more kills. Let's watch a close-up here. Okay, so yeah, the interior not really holding up amazing. They are getting more kills, but it's still definitely a struggle bus for them. Uh, they've currently got 85,200 kills, and uh, they only have 5,200 soldiers left. So let's let this run its course, and then we might try it with 100,000 Red Spartans just for fun. Actually, strangely enough, uh, they're still holding, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the Covenant soldiers are getting in a little bit around here now, though, so it's a bit bit worse. But uh, the Spartans have now gotten over 100,000 kills, which is pretty impressive. So they're actually doing pretty decent. Alright guys, these guys are lasting a crazy amount of time. It has been an hour in this battle, and we've still got a ton of Spartans left alive, which is kind of insane. Um, so this might be it. We might just let these guys die out and see how many kills they get, because I think this could last another two or three hours uh, with the choke points they're creating and the amount of body piles they're dropping on the battlefield from dead Covenant soldiers. This is insanity, man. They did breach this entire area, but this whole area is still Spartan controlled. So, kind of nutty, my boys. Let's continue to let it rip. All right, well, we are deep into this now, and the Covenant is continuing to destroy many more Spartans over this way. They're finally kind of breaching these choke points that the Spartans were holding for a very, very long time. So it's not looking too fantastic, to be completely honest with you. Um, 
Yeah, less than a thousand remain now, so I think it is just about Jover here for him. But the Spartans got 130,000 kills, which is not too bad. We will let this play out, but uh, yeah, it's it's looking pretty Jover, my dudes overall. Like, yeah, not not too good. And there we have it, boys. The Covenants won. Finally, but a valiant holdout. Not too bad. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more in the future. <laughs> this mod is really cool. Um, I'm going to need to figure out the unit balancing a little bit more, uh, I think, before we do crazy stuff with it. But let me know if you'd like to see more in the future. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.